So dear student, let us discuss that how we can use a negative, a positive photo resist in UV uh, photolithography to deposit a feature on thin films. So how a positive photo resist produce features on thin films? As I have discussed that a positive photo resist is a light sensitive material so when the uv light fall on positive photo resist the region <clears throat> on which uv for light fall that region become chemically active and it become the chemistry of that exposed region change and due to this the exposed region becomes soluble to the developer and in this way we get feature or transferred from mask to the photoresist. So the student, a positive photoresist in a simple word is a photoresist which is soluble to the developer. On the basis of chemistry of photoresist, dear student, please note, uh, please even write down that photoresist are divided into three main types on the basis of chemical structure. One type of photoresist is known as photopolymeric photopolymeric photoresist. Second type of photoresist is known as photodecomposing photoresist. Third type of photoresist is known as photocrosslinking photoresist. <clears throat> so the student both the photopolymeric photoresist and photo cross linking uh, photoresist are used as negative photoresist, whereas photo decomposing resist is used as a positive photoresist. The student photo decomposing resist is a type of photoresist that generate a hydrophilic products under the photo decomposition of the photoresist. So when the light fall on photo decomposing photoresist, which is basically <clears throat> a positive photoresist, the photo decomposing resist become hydrophilic. Okay. And due to the hydrophilic nature of photo decomposing resist, the developer easily remove the photo decomposing resist okay so the photo decomposing resist is a type of <clears throat> positive photo resist now question here is that how we can use this positive photo resist in order to produce the features on the thin films let explain this on the basis of schematic diagram this student, as you know in microelectronic industries or in research labs, usually we produce uh, microelectronics patterns on the surface of the thin films. So, before producing a pattern, microelectronic patterns on the surface of the thin film, we need to prepare a thin film on the surface of the substrate. And substrate, as I have previously explained in a brief that substrate is a single crystalline material and it has a certain specific orientations depend on the researcher requirements okay so the thin film is deposited on the surface of this substrate so this one is a thin film so before the deposition of thin film you need to clean your substrate and when you get deposited your thin film you again need to prepare your thin film for uv photolithography so that's mean that you need to even purify and even clean your thin films from if there are any kind of presence of organic or inorganic residue or inorganic um, kind of impurities you need to clean your substrate from those and you also need to remove if there is any kind of moisture present in it so after this you need to incorporate a adhesive material what is an adhesive material 
Adhesive material is a material which basically connects your photoresist in a better way with your thin film. So HMDS is spin coated on the surface of your substrate. It is just baked and it is transferred into a solid phase. So the liquid HMDS is basically is spin coated uniformly onto the surface of your thin film as a binder and then after spreading and solidifying the the uh, uh, the, the, uh, the photo or uh, solidifying the adhesive material we basically introduce a photo resist a positive photo resist onto the surface of our thin films so this positive photo resist is basically is joined by uh, by uh, HMDS or adhesive material with the uh, surface of your thin film okay now you have deposited the photo decomposing uh, photo resist which is basically a positive photo resist onto the surface of your thin films and after that you need to bake your whole sample in order to transfer your photo resist into a solid phase okay now question here is that how we can basically produce our features on this positive photo resist so we basically place this positive the sample which has a positive resist on the surface of it below the photo mask photo mask is a mask which has a micro electronic patterns on it these patterns are usually transparent pattern uv light basically pass <clears throat> can pass easily from the transparent pattern which are produced on the surface of the mask dear student please note that these transparent patterns are the pattern which we basically produce on the mask before producing uh, photolithographic features on the surface of your photoresist so the light which is usually a uv light passes from the transparent region of the photo mask and they reach onto the surface of the photo so when dear student uv light passes through the transparent region of the photo mask these uv light just expose the photo resist so the unblank part of the uv mask or the transparent uh, part of the uv mask, uh, photo mask will basically uh, move the light forward and the light interact with the uh, region in which uv light is passed from the photo mask in this way small portion of the positive photo resist is just exposed okay so this part small region of the photoresist become hydrophilic okay because we usually use photo decomposing masks okay they are photo decomposing photoresist so the photo decomposing photoresist become uh, hydrophilic when the light just fall on them due to hydrophilicity of the uh, of positive photo resist the exposed region of the positive photo resist just interact with developer okay so <clears throat> these are the the this area with the green is basically representing the exposed region of our uh, our photo resist okay so now this exposed region of the photo uh, resist become liquidified it's become hydrophilic okay so this exposed region becomes is become soluble to the photo developer so when the photo developer interact with photo mask these regions um, which have an exposed region of the photoresist they basically just remove those exposed regions so at the end of the day you get features on the surface of your thin films with uh, a photo resist also so dear student please note that this in this way basically we
develop a pattern using a positive photoresist onto the surface of our thin films. So, as I also explained this further steps in uh, photolithographic processing step, we basically uh, take this sample into advanced techniques like electron beam evaporation techniques or thermal evaporation technique. We deposit metals or different kind of material onto this exposed regions. Okay, so the metal which uh, uh, onto this exposed region and then after that this photo mask which we use is basically is removed okay by using different types of uh, etching techniques and, and it could be a chemical etching or it could be a plasma etching and at the end of the day we get a, a photographic electronic patterns on the surface of the thin film so this is all about the processing steps involved in photolithography using positive photoresist. So in next lecture, I will briefly explain about what could be the possible processing steps required in order if you are using negative photoresist on your thin film. So how you can produce electronic circuiting or electronic features on the surface of your thin films using negative photoresist.